Hey, baby. I want to plow your field if you know what I'm saying. Look at your beautiful face. Who could ever love? Who could ever not like a face like that? Baby girl. Can you stop? Anyway, hello there, everybody, and welcome to part 58 of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD as part of New Life by Blaz. Last time, we did the lesser of two evils, Elden. We got knocked unconscious, we retrieved all of our stuff back, and we met the one, we, we met the, the, the best of all the dragons, clearly. Uh, Elden gave us part of the song to Hero, and that, 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 that was about it. That was about it. That, that's all. That's all we get from him. So yeah, we we could just completely forget about that guy. A report, master. An unusual phenomenon is taking place in Faron Woods, making it impossible to descend directly into them at the moment. Of course, this is what she says, regardless. But if you land behind the temple, nothing will happen. So we're gonna land in the sealed grounds. Let's see what's up. I see what's up. Oh, God, I see the glowing thingy, my bob. Oh, no. I know what that means. Link, bad news. The beast looks like it's about to break free again. Gotta get into position. Hang tight. Whoa. Feels like that seal is going to give way any second. Uh, but no need to panic. You know what the Grusinator can do, am I right? As long as I'm at the controls of this bombshell beauty, I don't even know the meaning of the word defeat. Flinging bombs on this monster's face, defending the land, it's my purpose, I think. It's why I'm here. Anyway, Link, I got work to do. Try not to get in the way of my shots, okay? So, do you remember how I said about uh, how I lost to the second, imp uh, almost lost to the second imprisoned fight? I lied. It's the third one that almost got me. Who's finally back? Good thing, too. I was getting kind of tired of waiting to put a hurting on uh, this ugly mug. Link, let's do this. Our game plan is the same as last time. You know what to do. We gotta do this fight three times in a row in this game. But at least this time, now we know what that thing truly is. It really is the abomination form of demise. The one that, well, will most likely destroy the entire world in the process. But that doesn't necessarily mean that this fight is any easier or any harder. Same deal, same deal. Use your shortcut, get on top of his head while the thing is stunned, and then bada boom. Same deal as last time. And yeah, this is probably like the point where people often say that, you know, what? Didn't we just do this already? Didn't we just fight this thing already? Well, except this thing can fly. And he's just like, oh, God. Oh, no. Whoa! Since when did it learn how to fly? Hey. It's headed straight for the temple, but there's no way I'm letting it get there. Big Ugly's going down burning. Again, this is the point where most people are like, didn't we just do this already? Well, you probably think that way. Because of the sole fact that... You probably, uh, you probably went to Faron first, and there was very little gap in between the second and third fights. Is that it, man? I thought it was gonna put up more of a fight, 
Somebody should really thank the genius who made this machine. Okay, Link, time for you to show Big Ugly who's boss. That's probably why many people are like, you know, what? This again? Again? Another reason why I intentionally decided to do far and last is because there would be a much wider gap. Ha 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 ha. Because the song of the hero quest is lot non-linear. Ha ha. Oh no! Not good. The road crumbled and I can't get to the rest of my bomb stash. What do I do? Link, get up to the temple and make your way over here. Hustle up. Now here comes the part where it actually almost tripped me up and I almost got a game over. So you have to make your way all the way up to the temple in order to get to the last hit. Let's see what Granny has to say on this situation. Link, you must restore the seal that imprisons that monstrosity. It has grown stronger since you faced it last. You must always stay on guard. Sure. Like, if the imprison reaches the temple, it's game over. But, like, this almost tripped me up. Because, Link, we're in trouble. I can't get to my stash of bombs. All right. Link, we've got no choice. You've got to get up to that ugly thing's head. Quick now. You gotta get on the catapult. We're locked and loaded, so we're gonna aim it straight for that spike on its head. You can miss this, though. It is entirely possible to miss. And that's what almost tripped me up. And I almost got a came over had it not been for the fact that I got in a second wind and, and uh, got my aim right just right, and then I slashed this thing's spike quickly down the line but yeah that's what happened during the lightning round was that I got the third in prison fight and uh, I almost died it was it was honestly kind of amazing it was honestly kind of amazing I feel like out of all the imprisoned fights I guess um the first one is definitely the easiest the second one is, you know, medium difficulty, but, like, the second one... No, wait. The third one is the medium difficulty, mm -hmm. but, you know... Yeah, it's, that's only because I've learned about that trick. That famous, famous trick. The Joker's trick, if you will. And, yeah... Don't worry about a thing, though. Don't worry about a thing. You never have to fight the Imprisoned ever again after this. And besides, you know about that trick where you can get onto its thing's head, to the thing's head while it's stunned to make the fight last shorter. So, there you go. Triangles. Yeah, boy, there it is. Whew. I gotta say, Link, I thought we were goners this time. Sort of glad I was wrong about that. I'm gonna run ahead to the temple. You should get back there, too. So, yeah, you get to fight the imprisoned three times. And, like, I get it. Like, boss rematches aren't really that, aren't really that you know, uncommon at all in video games. But, like, it gets to a point where unless you know the trick, it can take... It, it, it's understandable why people don't really like it that much. It's because of the sole fact that, well, you basically do the same thing. Just chop off its toes and then drive the spike on its head. So, unless you know that trick... It's obviously going to be just a repetitive boss fight over and over and over again. The second one, the second match, I feel like it does shake things up a little bit. And it is a little bit harder. And it's definitely the one that I've gotten the most um, trouble with. I mean, at least in the lightning round portions. The third one, I definitely have to say is easier. Simply because, well, you probably know that trick up to that point. You probably definitely know what to do at that point. If you're just doing it the regular way, then yeah, it can definitely be hard. But 
Otherwise, again, only if you know that trick in that you can get on the imprisoned head while it's um while it's done by the grucinator, then you know, you shouldn't have too much issue at all with the imprisoned fights in general. Like, I don't mind them. I don't mind the imprisoned fights that much. Like I can deal with the first and the third ones and the second ones. I don't really mind them. It's just that three times might be a little bit too much in my opinion. The beast has been sealed into its prison for a third time. Link, Groose, you have both done well. But I fear we can't dwell on your success. The strength of the seal seems to wane with each escape. We are almost out of time, Link. Are you close to discovering the Triforce? I see. You must seek out the three dragons and complete the Song of the Hero to find the Triforce. It is right your search led you here. The Faron Woods are close by. Unfortunately, there has been an unusual turn of events in the woods. I am unsure of what happened, but a short while ago, I noticed the path to the woods was completely flooded. To protect the land here, I closed the gate leading to the woods and drove back the water with a simple seal. The seal will only hold as long as the gate remains closed meaning you will not be able to open it without flooding these lands. I mean, you could technically just flood the lands and then the imprisonment will just drown to death. There we go. Demise done. Given this situation, I am at a loss as to how you can enter the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all? Consider the problem solved. See, that last battle with Big Ugly got me thinking of other ways to use the Grucinator. Just climb up onto that bad boy and I'll give you a lift over to the woods, alright? I'll run ahead and get her prepped up for you. Come see me when you're ready to take a little flight. Oh my. The boy has made himself very useful, but he does have a tendency to cause trouble for those he helps. Safe journey. I wish you a soft landing, Link. I mean, I hope that's a soft landing. <laughs> I mean, I hope so. Like, God. But uh, before we do that, though, um, now I'm just wondering, though, has enough time passed for me to consider the uh, goddess wall replenished? That's what we'll do first. Glimmering hexagon. Ye who seeks the great ridges, great riches, great ridges. Yeah, great riches. <laughs> riches, ridges. Jesus Christ. Okay. He wants us. To, he wants us to draw a rupee. So here we go. We're gonna do this. I really hope that's a rupee shape. Looks like a giant, like, taco. Oh. Sweet money bags! That's what I meant by great riches! Alright, so what do we get this time? A dusk relic. Alright, cool. I probably won't show off, like, all of this. Like, just like I said before, um... It, it does take some time to get past, and I think what we... I think what you have to do is just to save and reload again, I think. I'm not entirely sure about that, actually. Um, yeah, we got our auto save. We got our auto save on on. We got our auto save on deck. So let me just uh, reset here. I saw that it does. Yep, it does. Close circle. Ye who hungers for destructive force, draw the shape so that it may be known. Destructive circle. Well, yeah, that's obviously bombs. So I'm going to draw a circle. That's a circle. All right. Circles within circles await you, Riku! 
Yes, sir. There we go. Sweet Bumble Dongle. Sweet Bumble Dog. <laughs> All right. Got a bluebird feather. I actually want this. I mean, I don't know how it would help me or anything, but uh, cool. All right. So assuming the saddle saves. Yes. All right. So let's do the same thing. I'm just using this as an excuse to show you my updated thingy because Metroid Dread is awesome. I'm going to start Ring Fit Adventure probably. I already did, but let's do this. Mm. Life's Crimson Vessel. Ye who yaunt longs for the source of life, draw the shape so that it may be known. Do so, and from the heavens shall fall a rain of life's essence. That would be the hearts. Yeah, we're probably just going to spend the rest of this video because the Faron stuff can take a while for all I care. I mean, any excuse not to go do the far on, to do the Faron stuff is okay by me. There we go, the hearts. Astonishing! So that's what I meant by the Crimson Vessel. Crimson Vessel sounds cool. So, you got another desk relic. This answers all the mysteries from those ancient texts. At least, except for the mysteries that followed after that. Do you want to know what else was written? Absolutely. Mm. The three ingles, the trites, and... The text is too badly damaged to read beyond that point. What do you suppose it could say? Over time, the power goes... Okay. So... Obviously, you know the shape that this this guy's talking about. After all, it is a symbol for the series, and it's right there on it's right there on Link's back. However, we're just gonna save this for the wide open and show you more of my Switch menu. Um, okay, so I happen to have Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. I have the Doom playing a lot of Super Metroid. I got Nickelodeon. I got all of these. All right, Skyward Sword. Hey. Lost writings in an ancient text. What secrets could be hidden there? Layers upon layers of mysteries. By the way, would you like to review what was written in text? Nah, we already are good. Now, it all depends on how I could draw this, because drawing this thing isn't really that easy. If you can do it in one stroke, that would be great. All right, I'm going to do this. Okay. So you do that. This. Uh, I think I may have messed up on this. Uh... Or maybe this will count. I'm not entirely sure. This is like so bad. This is this is so bad. Okay, that looks like one time for us. Here we go. Oh my god! I, I, I swear, if that actually worked, if that actually worked, I swear to God, I swear to God, if that actually worked, I would have been amazed. <laughs> All right, try it again. Let this be it. Oh! How did that count? <laughs> How did that count? Holy Goron! So this is what the last part of the lot the, the text was explaining. Nice going, bud! Oh. Now I've seen everything that those ancient writings described. I really owe you, bud. So let me give you this, just my way of saying thanks. The gold rupee, like I mentioned. Seems like a really great way to waste our time so that I don't have to, so I don't have to freaking uh, waste your time with the Faron stuff. But 
you know we eventually have to do it anyway. So it's just like, oh, oh boy. <laughs> Next time, wait, actually no, because we can just enter this right here and right now. Just to give you the idea of the situation. I wasted more time on that than I should have, but, you know, whatever. It's fine. Just so long as I wasted an idea on that, then I don't care. <laughs> Grusso, buddy. Take me to hell. Want to head for foreign woods, do you? No sweat. Just hop on into Grusso's air and I'll fling you over. <clears throat> All right, hop in and I'll take care of the flinging. You just worry about the landing. With my machine, the woods are just a fling away. Yes, I'm very well aware of where we are, thank you. And that is to give you an idea of what's ha happening and what's going on here. Next time on Scoured Sword HD... See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.